the old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Uh, kick it. <laughs> I was right. Kick it. I fix everything. Beat the fuck out of it. Come on. No more screwing around. up here? Probably not. And out. Let's get out of here. Ah, if I can never make it to this damn... Well, the radio station to the coal mine? Is that what he said? So I gotta go from the coal mine. Yeah, that should take me to I guess wherever the hell this guy is. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Suckers. Afraid of the dark now, bitches. What? Ooh. Oh, that's only collectible of some sort. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Team one, come in. Over. Yeah, but. Um. Team one, this is Sheriff Breaker. Report. Over. I don't think anybody can hear you. Just me. Team two, come in. I need a report. Over. Oh, so is my mom. Come on, guys. Talk to me. Come in, please. Over. So the Where's the werewolf? Skyrim. Gee, am I gonna get attacked when I get dropped down here? I'm gonna so fuck this up too. You know that, right? Police. Damn, man, I gotta put you on a treadmill. If you live through this, damn right. Oh, Jesus. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. Jesus. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. <laughs> What's on your mind, Milt? Milt well, Peabody. I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, that's sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door, and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. 
Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Oh, that's not good. Are oh, you got to be kidding me? Everybody, say hi. Ow. I saw something. Yes. Jesus, I thought he was gonna leap off the edge. <laughs> Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Jesus. Okay, so she got possessed and used or something. I gotta get run in here. Oh, hell. Shit. Get out of there. I do here. Stop car lights. Oh hell. You gotta be kidding me, these are all the goddamn cops? Ow. Shit. I gotta get stuck on a damn rock. Come on. to get to the coal mine. Why, hello, Lorna. What do you have for us? Not a whole lot, you dirty fuck. I always forget the jail. Can I steal his car? Thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm going to see if I can talk him into an interview. Oh, boy. 
Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't you keep run. saying different whoa, names. Whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Run, motherfucker, run. Even if it kills me, you hear me? You hear me, HP Lovecraft? I had fallen off what so many hell? cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book The Sudden Stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Okay, for some reason... Oh well.